Welcome everyone, willkommen. I'm here today to talk about the key to open practices, which is generating synergies between open education and open science. Quick info about me. My name is Claudia Hackel. I'm the project manager of Open Education Austria Advanced, which is an Austrian digitalization project in the higher education sector. I'm located at the University of Vienna, Center for Teaching and Learning there. So let's start classically with an open educational resources definition. Um, OER are teaching and learning materials in any medium that can reside in the public domain or have been released under an open license that permits no cost use access, adaptation, and all these kinds of um, uh, redistrib redistributions by others with no or with limited restrictions and open educational resources, in German, offene Bildungsressourcen, are part of the open solutions um, alongside open source software, for example, or uh, open access publications, open data, um, and also crowdsourcing platforms. So let's dive into the topic and um, dive into generating synergies between open education and open science. These two players um, are, um, are deeply connected because in the EU's open science policy, there are eight ambitions formed. For example, open, open data, the European Open Science Cloud is also one ambition. Um, then also future scholarly communication rewards, um, citizen science, but also education and skills. So these educational skills mentioned as one of the central ambitions of the EU's open science policy um, says that all scientists in Europe should have the necessary skills and support to apply open science, uh, science research, research routines and practices. So here you see that these open science practices and research routines um, are only possible um, to be supported if you have the necessary educational skills to apply these. In order to equip these researchers with the appropriate skills to facilitate open science, it's crucial to first promote awareness of open science practices here, particularly um, open access, open data, as I already mentioned, but also open education, open peer review and citizen science. So here you see open science and open education are two very um, deeply connected um, concepts. So what are we doing at the moment? Um, we are implementing the EU's open science policy. The Austrian open science policy has just released a few weeks ago. And also the um, uh, Austrian universities are currently implementing corresponding initiatives um, in the field of open education, but also in the field of open access and open data. So here, um, these in initiatives um, try to establish technical infrastructure for example, archiving systems, learning management tools, and also the know-how on how to produce OER, use OER, handle metadata, for example, and also further training for academic staff, such as the OER production, didactics, legal issues, um, all terms of um, research data management as well. And um, the Austrian digitalization projects, um, which we are part of, um, we're actively shaping the digital change in the Austrian higher education sector. We're also improving um, the quality of higher education um, and um, digital technologies. We're opening up and expanding access to science and research, mainly um, in our work here uh, through open educational resources, and we're making work workflows at universities more efficient. This all um, in, in terms of requirements um, of digital teaching, open education and open science, and these um, which are uh, what we take in mind. So here's a quick um, slide on all the other um, very interesting digitalization projects going on at the moment in Austria, um, which we are only one part of. Um, we're Open Education Austria Advanced, the central OER project in the Austrian higher education sector. We are a project of several universities in Austria, a joint development for open solutions um, for OER. 
and um, we are a cooperation of e-learning centers, um, central IT services and university libraries um, with the aim of the contribution to the free, um, free use of educational content um, from teaching um, in university sector. And we're also trying to establish um, open practices analogous to research, such as open access, open data. So also the open education concepts. So what are we actually um, uh, aiming um, as our project objectives? We are um, further developing um, the OER hub, which is the OER meta search engine. It's, it's an open system architecture um, that um, makes it possible um, for OER throughout the Austrian higher education sector to be found and then to be used. Um, we're also um, developing further the local technical um, repositories, for example, and other technical uh, infrastructure in the local departments. We're also establishing a national OER certification body to certify um, OER activity at universities, um, higher education institutions, and also um, university teachers. Um, then we're also um, offering further training on OER. Um, we are raising the production process um, and development of OER and implementing that at the several universities. And of course, also the knowledge transfer. So we are offering consulting sessions for interested um, higher education institutions if they want to jump on the OER train. And that all at the crossroads of teaching and learning centers, libraries, and central IT services to establish open practices. That was my quick intro on how, on how our work um, is uh, part of the key to open practices and on how, on how our work is establishing and generating synergies between open education and open science. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy here to answer these. Um, feel free to contact me. Here's the email address and our um, project homepage. See you soon. Dankeschön.